Paula from Fairy Chic Emporium and today we've got this project to do, these beautiful, beautiful chest of drawers. They were um, actually on close up quite holy and a bit stainy so they definitely need painting but as a shape and as a solidness they are stunning so I'm really excited about doing them. My husband's done all the filling yesterday so now the first job of the day is sandpapering it down. I've had lots of discussions online about what colour to do this and everyone had a different view so I've kind of ignored everyone. <laughs> Not really but I did take on board somebody's advice, I think it was Deborah, that the um, transfers that I've decided I'm going to use look much better on lighter colours. So I have chosen Rain Cloud which is a grey. A lovely grey and then I'm going to try and use and taking on board some of the other ideas some white out to do some white washing on it to sort of give some light and dark shades of the piece before I go ahead and put the transfer on now this is an IOD transfer that we sell in the shop and you may or may not know that some of the images come as wide um, and some of them come as tall so that they you can buy the same image wide or tall depending on whether you want it on a wide set of chest of drawers or a tall wardrobe so this is a wide and it says on it wide um, so it will look perfect and fit perfectly on the front of these drawers so as you can see they have some lovely bolts uh, sort of lock things going on here but it's going to get in the way of the transfer so we've taken it out and filled it so the first thing I'm going to do is sand it off, I might need to finish and coat it because it might be a bleeder and then I'm going to get a main colour of this rain cloud on and then we'll uh, show you where we're at. Right so I've painted all of it in um, rain clouds and as you can see it's a beautiful very subtle white grey very pretty absolutely perfect for shabby sheet projects. It's gone on like a dream two coats two solid coats and that's it i haven't even had to do a touch up after it so that's just amazing and now i have mixed up in my pot some um white out and water and i haven't thoroughly mixed it all together this end is more concentrated paint this end is more water and i'm just doing a kind of white wash effect along the edges extremities of the piece adding a little bit of solid white adding a bit of water in different places to just break it up and I'm really liking this effect on this piece it's because the colours between the white and the rain cloud are so subtle it's just giving them a lovely washed effect so I'm going to carry on through the whole piece in the same way just highlighting and, and giving it a little bit of texture and then we will then be moving on to the exciting bit, which is putting the IOD on. So that will be the next time I see you and I'll show you how I do that. Right. Good morning, new day. So as you can see on the top, I've done quite a white washy affair um, with the white out. Um, I quite like the look. It's because the wood underneath was actually quite raw. Noodle is off my stick. <laughs> he thinks it's a game. Anyway, so I have now I went to put the um, transfer on and I realised that the knobs were completely in the way so I've had to take the knobs off, the knobs were glued in so I've had to rethink the knob situation because they broke getting them off so I'm going to put some pretty crystal knobs on which I think will look really nice. So now I have very loosely masking taped this transfer into position, as you can see there's a lot of air, a lot of movement but that's because I've got ridges and bumps in between the drawers so I've got to allow for that when I do it so what I will need to do is start at the bottom and work up so there might there will be some movement it's no good sort of working all over the place I shall start at the bottom and gradually work up so that it will evenly distribute across the piece and it doesn't matter if it comes down just a little bit by the time I've finished so I'll come back when I'm a bit further down Right, so I couldn't show you the whole process of sticking it on because it was a bit of a two-man job, particularly because of all the concaves in the drawers. Um, and what you can see is that some of the lettering hasn't come out perfectly at all and it's lifted some of the paint off. That hasn't particularly happened to me before. Uh, it wasn't the best angle doing it sort of upright rather than flat down. 
but I'm not considering it a crisis. I'm literally just going around with my rain cloud paint to touch up the areas that pulled the uh, paint off, and then I'm going to mix up a slate grey to try to um, imitate some of the letters that are missing. But obviously, the main image, which is good and would have been harder to replicate, has come out pretty good. So when I've sort of filled in as much as I can, and I'm not going to do all of it because it's okay that it's shabby, um, I shall show you the finished product. See you in a bit. Go on in. Right, so I have finally finished the piece and I suggest you take a couple of seconds just to rewind and see what this looked like that I've hand painted in. It really only took me half an hour. So you'll see how much I did, and most of it was evolved around these words. But I think you agree, it now looks like a fantastic piece of furniture. I love the stripy, streaky um, whitewash that I've done. The crystal handles, I actually think are a good thing. I'm glad that happened. That, that's really added a bit of bling to it. The IOD is just stunning in itself. And... I love the fact that it comes in wide as well as high, so it, this has worked perfectly for this piece of furniture. And as a finishing touch, I've just lined all of the inside of the drawers in a, a lovely sort of weighty, swirly paper. Just adds a little bit. So all in, really pleased with this project, and I've got to try some new colours that I haven't used before. Thank you for watching, until next time.